Hey, I got a quick video for you today. We're doing an unboxing of one of my Christmas presents, the Agfa Photo Analog Photo Camera. So the first thing I notice is how compact the packaging is. There's no huge box or big plastic clamshell, just a thin cardboard box. Not a lot of wasteful packaging, which I appreciate. Now, it might look a little bit like a disposable camera, but as it says right here, it is reusable. So it is definitely more environmentally friendly than a disposable or single use camera. Now, another thing that's cool is it's got information listed on the flaps in four different languages. German, English, French, and Spanish. Now, I'm barely fluent in English, so we're going to stick with that. A couple points here worth looking at, too, on the flap here on the side. It says it's suitable for ISO 200, 400, or 800 speed films. It's got a 31 millimeter lens with a fixed aperture of f9 and shutter speed of 1 1 20th of a second and it takes one AAA battery which is not included. Alright, let's open her up. I'm going to slice through the seal here. Let's see what we got here. Okay. It's got a nice Crown Royal style pouch here and inside the bag we've got a little instruction book here and the main attraction the analog photo camera itself now that is one good looking camera I love the retro styling and I'm a sucker for red cameras this thing is gorgeous you can see it is focus free so a true point and shoot it's got a built-in flash which you activate here that little lever on the bottom you can see battery chamber where you pop in a triple-a battery to power that flash there's the rewind release button there up top got the flash ready indicator light here frame counters right by that bright red shutter button two other nice touches I noticed it comes with the camera strap which you can take off if you want to, that's fine. And a dedicated latch to open up the back here. So you don't have to just pull up on the rewind lever there. Pretty standard guts inside. You load the film from left to right. The build quality is actually feels pretty decent for an inexpensive plastic point and shoot. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. It's pretty solid. Now, let's take a quick look at the user manual here. It's black and white. Again, there's those four languages. And it looks like the uh, first few steps here. Let's see. This shows you basically how to load the camera with your 35 millimeter film. And step number five here tells you that the flash will be effective from one to three meters or about three feet to ten feet. And it looks like the focus will be from about one meter or three feet to infinity. So far, I like what I see, but the proof is in the pudding. So as far as image quality is concerned, I'll get back to you on that one. I can't wait to shoot some film through this beauty and share the results with you here soon. If you want to see what some other fixed focus point and shoots can do, you can check out this video featuring the Vivitar Ultra Wide and Slim and this video featuring the Bell & Howell 28 millimeter camera. Spoiler alert, I really dig both of these cameras. So until next time...